I see Lulu's pretty low, so I WQW, auto E, um, onto the Zeri, but use Profane to kill Lulu. Quite sure that the o AoE would kill her, which it did. Orn ults, so I'm just waiting for Orn to like move away from the bush. I see the Jin in ult, so I just WQW flash auto E, kill him right there. Auto the Ivern quickly. Try ult E, auto the... But I see Zeri, so I know I'm going straight on Zeri. And he fails his E, and then he flashes, so I W over, he gets Lulu ulted, and I get exhausted. So I W the Ivern, WQ, E, then I take the W a bit late, he flashes, I misclick my flash, I should have just ulted, but then I kill him. Walk back in to eat the gin to get my W back so I can get away. Q the Vague, like, oh my god, let me just quickly get level 6, otherwise I'm going to die. And then I ult him. I miss the Qs, but it's fine. As I'm walking away, I'm thinking my W is about to come back up, so I'm going to flash on him and E him to get it back. Auto him with the passive auto, and W backwards here. So I just go in, WQW, auto, and then he ults me after I ult, but it's fine because I have auto E profane. I need to engage on this action. Luckily, Lee Sin cues as I go on the action. I kill the action. He ward hops. I dodge some spells from Syndra, I think. The, the W and the E. Pike hooks it. Hey guys, Ilji here. If you enjoyed the intro, be sure to thumbs up the video. I'm going to go over the three games of Soda Q that it was from. So yeah, the first game's against Anivia. I take electrocute because my chat told me to on stream. So, <laughs> YOLO. I think first strike's usually better. But yeah, let's see how this game went. We end up getting the wave crash right here. And I see Rumble, so I'm walking to the right. I'm just like, okay, well, I have my double longsword, so I'm going to recall. But then Kindred starts pinging on his way. So I help. I ping the Janna to come as well, because I know that if Janna comes, we're definitely going to kill this guy. Because he's just camping there waiting <laughs> to see if I come by. So I was just waiting for my team. He flashes over, Jada flashes on him, and I get the kill like that. Kindred invaded the wraiths, so I'm just waiting for him to finish that up and gank mid, because he's pretty free. And so I'm posturing a bit back, trying to make it less obvious that Kindred's there. It works out, because we get his egg, and Rubble's here as well, so just want to finish this guy off and try and run. But I know Kindred's pretty much dead. I realize I might be able to get my W back if I hit 1E, so I do that, and then I run. He's overheated, I'm waiting for my W. There we go, we kill him like that. Wasn't too scared because I had flash still. Right here, I'm posturing a bit forwards because I don't expect him to hit level 6 so quick. So he's like slightly ahead of me in XP. And then I get hit by his Q. And I'm like, oh my god, let me just quickly get level 6, otherwise I'm going to die. <laughs> and then I ult him. I miss the Qs, but it's fine. As I'm walking away, I'm thinking my W is about to come back up. So I'm going to flash on him and E him to get it back. Auto him with the passive auto and W backwards. You know, W, Q, W backwards to kill him. Right here, Nivea clears the wave, but I wasn't watching, which was a mistake. But I'm like, well, if he walks up, I might as well YOLO, W, E, ult, and then take the W. Hopefully he misses Q, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, kill him like that. We saw Rubble in the jungle somewhere. Right now, I'm just waiting because I didn't think he was in the bush. I thought he was actually popping outside of our jungle, but it's fine. He kills a kindred. I'm just like, OK, I'll just kill him then. I use my W to poke this Anivia, and then I realize Rumble's on the left, so I'm actually quite trapped. If I go to the right, I'll get, like, walled in. So I just walk there and hope that Kindred's counter gank with Kindred's ult is going to save me, which it does. So right now I'm just waiting, and then I W before the Kindred ult comes out because I don't want to die. Or, like, yeah, I don't want to die, basically. And then I flash over here because I'm like, Anivia surely doesn't have Q. And then I auto E after flash ulting and Q him. He dies. I think they kill Lulu as well. Oh, never mind. 1 HP, of course. But it's okay because Lulu stayed and Janna stayed around too to slow her for me. WW auto E. Easy kill. Eclipse proc. As I TP in, I'm thinking about going on a Nivea. But then I realized Rumble was killing my Kennen because um, he was hiding in the bush. So I'm running. Kennen's taking the plants, trying to live. I save him. I'm like, that guy was dealing so much damage. What the heck? But we got it. And um, right here, I'm a bit scared. That I just walk up anyways, might as well ult him, YOLO, see how that goes. And then there's people behind him, so I W away, and Kindred goes in, but I'm like, I'm sorry Kindred, I can't help you. And he dies. I see Zeri is completely trolling, staying top while this whole team's not here, trying to defend, so I just go in, ult, auto, E, W, Q, I don't even have to hit too many Qs. Take the kill and the tower. I pushed in top, and I realize Cannon is going for a flank. We see someone in the bush, so I know he's spotted, so he just goes in, ult flashes. I'm like, thank you very much. Coming from the other side, ult this Lulu as well. Don't need to hit the Qs, I think, so he's dead. And then just running, and then Rumble flashes in, I think. And I have W again, so I W in, auto for the Voltaic. QE, get the triple kill. As I'm pushing bots, I think about TPing mid, but then Yoint here. So I just go in, WQW, auto, and then he ults me after I ult, but it's fine because I have auto E profane. Too much damage. 
kill him like that. I stayed to take the tower in bot lane and my team kind of got beat down and everything. Cannon's TPing behind, so I think I might as well TP behind as well. But I just want a base so I can buy something. Buy some good items. And then uh, we just walk in. Find a Nivea, so I go straight on him. Get his egg and kill him like that. As I push top, my Kindred and Janna are like covering me, which is quite nice. So I move down and I'm thinking we could probably go a bit deeper into the jungle. We find Yon randomly in the bush, so we kill him straight away. So yeah, and then Rommel and Lulu on the right. So I move around to flank them, but I see Zeri, so I know I'm going straight on Zeri. And he fails his E, and then he flashes, so I W over, he gets Lulu ulted, and I get exhausted. But I was like, whatever, I should be able to kill him still, and I just randomly did a bunch of damage to kill him. Uh, through exhaust, I think. <laughs> But uh, then I go on a Nivea a bit, my team dies, I don't have enough damage to kill Nivea, so I just run away. And I do get away. Lovely. I see my team fighting, so I TP in, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I should be able to kill everyone. But then I mess up, so I WW in, when I should just WEQ the Lulu, because I end up getting bursted a bunch and I don't really have flash to get away or anything to really do, because my ult is not in range of anyone, so I die like a... A clown. Uh, but my team is winner's queue, so they kill everyone. And yeah, easy. Kill him. There we go. Right here, we're probably going to fight again. And I'm pretty mad about last fight, so I know I'm going to go all in YOLO. Um, I see Lulu's pretty low, so I WQW, auto E, um, onto the Zeri, but use Profane to kill Lulu. Quite sure that the o AoE would kill her, which it did. Kill the Rumble as well. Even though he uses Zonyas because I have shadows on him. I got altered by Yon. I was thinking I was, I'm was i probably dead. But then I don't die because Kindred saves me or someone saves me. And uh, yeah, we, we beat them all down. Lovely, isn't it? Um, anyways, that that's... Uh, oh, whoops. Yeah, they surrendered and that's the end of this game. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next game. <laughs> I play against Tristana in this one. I go first strike because I feel like it's a bit better to get my items faster. And I wanted to try Domination Secondary to see how it goes. So yeah, let's see. The early game ended up being really slow, but here we are, 10 minutes in. Um, I W poked this Tristana because I know Janna's on the left, and now I'm just waiting. Janna's going to poke him a bit, Viego shows up. Viego's coming as well, so I kind of want to fight. So I ult this guy, I miss the Qs, and then Shen ults me, so I'm just running into them. Trying to get Shen into the enemies, basically. Let's get a couple kills, or I guess assists. Let's go. As I'm farming this wave under tower, Tristana kind of overextends a bit. Uh, Janna's slowing him and stuff, and Viego says as well, so I go in like this. He jumps and then he flashes, but it's too late. Got the damage down. Easy kill. We managed to catch Tristana again, since we have a uh, Viego and Janna just perma camping. <laughs> and Tristana was on a ward when she hit that plant, so he ults the Viego, but then we just chase it down. I'll just show you guys. I see that Viego has flash, so I'll keep chasing as well. Ult onto him. He gives me the kill. Shen is baiting for me, but I'm like pretty late to this little fight. Luckily he survives. Another quick kill. I'm thinking to go bot, but then I see the Jin ult, so I turn around and go into the bush. Just hide. Just gonna hide here and wait. Hopefully they walk up and I'll just W combo someone, which is what happens. So I W the Ivern, WQ, E, and I take the W a bit late. He flashes. I misclicked my flash, I should have just altered, but then I kill him. Walk back in to eat the gin to get my W back so I can get away. Cue the Vega as he walks into all Qs. Easy peasy. I see my team is fighting, but I have a decent flank since I pushed bot. And as I go on this gin right here, I just go in, W, and then ult, <laughs> E. <laughs> I don't even uh, use Q because I'm scared that he'll get away with the movement speed. And then we chase down the Ivern. He runs for a bit. He runs for a little bit. Oh, I forwarded it too much. There you go, I got him. Varus is getting engaged on by the Vagar support, so I teleport in quickly. Just run in there. Auto E. Profane. Gimme, gimme. There's another fight going on as I'm walking up mid. So right here, I'm thinking about someone to ult to close distance, like get onto other people. So I just ult the Orn, but then I go straight onto the Jin and Ivern. But then the Ivern flashes right as I Profane. So unlucky. But yeah, we win this fight. I just keep going. I think I E him for my W. Go on the Trist with my WQW there. I die, but we take it. I TP bot because I want to fight this dragon. But then they start collapsing on me. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's kind of annoying. So I W away. I dodge the spells here, luckily. So I keep my Edge of Night, which is really, really nice. 
Uh, and then they start fighting over there. Orn ults, so I'm just waiting for Orn to like move away from the bush. I see the Jin in ult, so I just WQW flash auto E, kill him right there. Auto the Ivern quickly. Try ult E, auto the Tristana, and then Profane, and then he ults me away, and then I go back on him with W. Easy peasy, triple kill. And the fight's pretty much won from there, so we go on this Orn. Just gonna slowly kill him. Eventually we get him. I tried to KS, but then I suck, and Janna gets the kill. Baron is up, so both teams are like just posturing for it. So I just look down mid, hopefully someone's there. Tristana is, so I WQW, ult, auto, E, profane, kill him like that. I got the shadow there, Shen walks up and taunts the Jin, and coincidentally it's on the shadow. I place another W there, just QE the Jin, kill him real quick. And then everyone's just cleaning it all up now, so we just pretty much run them down. Diego flashes in, blah blah blah. And yeah, after this we just end the game. So, yeah, thanks for watching this game, guys. Make sure you thumbs up the video if you're enjoying it. Blah, blah, blah. And... Wait, let me forward it. And I'll see you in the next game. <laughs> we play against Akshan in this game. I take first strike just because I want to get items as fast as possible. And secondary, I just go classic runes because... I don't know, YOLO. And, uh, yeah, let's see how it went. I managed to get push, so I start moving bot. Rumble's greeting for these kills, so I'm walking up, I flash because I see Lee Sin, might as well try to kill this guy as fast as possible, which we do, and now we're running away because everyone is here, Akshan comes flying in, kills my Kai'Sa, flies again, I think he kills Talia as well, um, but I just poke him a bit, oh Lee Sin gets the Talia kill, Akshan flashed I think, and now I'm just hiding under the tower, I'm thinking I'm gonna die if I stay here, so I need to engage on this Akshan. Luckily, Lee Sin queues as I go on the action. I kill the action. He ward hops. I dodge some spells from Syndra, I think. The, the W and the E. Pike hooks him in, so I auto E the Lee Sin to survive. And right here, I'm just spacing on his Q range. He misses his Q, so I'm ready. I want to try and KS the kill, but uh, I don't get it. Sad. As I'm walking back to lane, I'm obliviously just walking, and then I realize people are attacking by Talia. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it looks like free kills for me. I'm going to hold my ult because I don't need to use it. So I W in as well. The rubble's there. He's just standing there. Got my shadows ready. My Q's lined up. I see Lee Sin. So I'm thinking, I want to fight this guy. I want to kill him. I have ult still. Blah, blah, blah. Pike is moving up. And then this gets a bit awkward because what do I do? I W and then I Q. I proc Eclipse. And then he baits me in by going on my shadow. So I just take it and ult. But then he ward hops. I'm like, oh, well, that sucks. I also don't have energy for Q. But whoopsie. And then he just takes the Q anyways, and Pike is hiding in the bush, so he dies. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Lee Sin. As I'm hitting this wave, I see Pike next to me, so I walk up. I'm pretty sure that Akshan is just invisible, and he was, so W, E, Alt. Akshan hits the Q, hooks him into all the Qs and all that. Looks pretty cool. We're all hiding in the top bush, and then uh, Rumble obliviously walks in. I'm thinking, oh, this guy's trolling. But then I realized that multiple people were teleporting behind us. So I just flash away and I run and uh, my team dies, but it's okay. Action is invisible. I'm running. He jumps on me here, but I just W away. I'm clearing this wave fully up at the tower because I'm pretty sure Action is invisible again. So if he shows, I'm going to WE and ult him, which he does. So I WE ult, stops his little jump, Q straight away, kill him like that and take his tower. They're trying to siege our top tier 1, so I'm walking up here, my ult is coming up in 10 seconds, I'm pretty happy with this, they're overextending really hard. He also hits a good tornado, so we get a quick kill there. And as I'm walking up, I'm a bit scared of the Syndra E, so I'm just going to wait for my flash. Keep it simple, flash ult, auto E, he flashes, but uh, I have W now, so I W W profane, auto E the rumble, and then Q, and he lives with 1 HP, I'm like, it's pretty sad. And uh, yeah, I mean, after that, they actually end up surrendering the game. So, I thought it. Yep. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.